Hey guys, welcome back to G-Man's Fishing Adventures. Uh, we're out here today on East Okoboji. G-Man's at school. Wanted to get out here this weekend, but it uh, didn't work out. So we're just, I gotta come over by myself. And got a good bite going on. Yellow bass right now. I've had some bluegills, uh, perch, and yellow bass so far. So we'll see what we can do. so bad. They're all about eight inches in this spot. One I got, a couple I got earlier were bigger, but let's see how this goes. This feels pretty little. Yeah, little bluegill. <laughs> Going back. This is a spot that I like to fish in the summertime. It's kind of right off the weed line, so it's good to see that there's fish here. Ten foot of water. Perch. Chungus, about eight incher. Let her go. It's one thing I love about East Tokoboji is you almost never know what's coming up the hole. Oh boy. Alright, we're going slow. This one's definitely going back. <laughs> Oofta. It's a tiny bluegill. Well, let's move to another spot, see if we can pick up a couple aggressive fish. All right, I've walked all the way across the lake. <clears throat> I'm over on Jingles Point, and actually on the point itself. And uh, when I was right on the edge of it, I was marking a lot of fish, but now that I'm up on it on nine, 10 foot of water, I found some active yellow bass, so. See if we can get some of them on film. There we go. There's another one for the ice. Yeah, nice sized fish. I'll take a pile of yellow bass. It's been a while since we've caught a big pile in Fairmont. Oh! That one's going to have a little sore mark on his lip. It's a little small, but we're already cleaning. Must be a couple small ones down there right now. Yeah, he says, doesn't call, don't call me small. <laughs> Does that make you mad when I called you small? Well, be mad. Since I'm actually in shallow targeting bluegills and crappies, I'm actually using this uh, Wonder Bread tungsten jig. Um, that way if any bluegills and crappies do come through, they'll hammer it. But uh, right now I'm happy catching yellows. So I don't have a pilky on right now, but I'm sure they'd bite on that as well. Probably 40, 50 on the 
pace right now, so it's going pretty well. 3.45 in the afternoon. It's been pretty good here on Jingles Point, so if you're interested, that's where they're at. Well, two hours into fishing on Jingles Point here, and the bucket's getting pretty full. Can't argue with that. It's been some really good fishing. So, here in a little bit, I'm gonna move over into the bay a little more, try to get some bluegills. Look at that one, guys. Moved into the bluegill spot right away. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me real quick. dark or sunset at least and got an hour and a half drive so I think with that we're gonna call that the end of the episode and uh, appreciate you guys coming along it was a really fun day caught well over 200 fish um, probably over 150 yellow bass alone lots of little bluegills some pretty nice bluegills and uh, just be sure if you're in the Spirit Lake area to stop at Cable's trading post and talk to the guys there they'll put you on fish then it's just up to you to catch them and as aggressive as these fish are i think it's going to be really good late ice um, pretty easy to catch fish so thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos and we'll see you next time